of 43, I had a question coming out of chapter 4, number 84. And this is where we were told that a nurse um, commented that when a patient calls um, the advice line claiming they have the flu, that the chances they actually have the flu are about 4%, and 25 patients are going to call. So we have our variable here, and I wrote it down here for you, is the number of patients who have the flu in this sample of 25 patients. So I, I wrote it up here, right? Um, I, I would just start to get in the habit of saying in sample of 25 because it might start to ground you in terms of what your fixed number of trials would be. So just for fun, I wrote out the PDF, which would be awful to try and make. I would never recommend it. Um, but anytime you would have that long of a table, I would hope you would say, well, you know what? She gave me a discrete numerical variable. And if I was going to make a table, it would be, as I write here, it would be a beast. And is she really being that mean to me? And the answer is probably no. I try not to be that mean. So we want to check if it's binomial. So the first thing we need to check was, hey, do I have a fixed number of trials? And I do. I'm going to talk to 25 patients. And we're going to deem a success, meaning the patient actually has the flu. All right. Our trials are going to be independent because one patient calling and having the flu has no effect on the next patient calling and having the flu. And our probability of success is about 4%, right? That's, that's what we've, we're told in the problem. So since I can check through all four of those, I get to say my variable is binomially distributed, and I've got 25 trials with a probability of success of 0.04. So I think it's the phrase distribution that tends to mess with us, for number four, so when I say distribution, you could either make me a PDF table, right? So I'll tell you one option is a PDF table, right? Or you could tell me it was distributed binomially in this chapter. Right? When we get into further chapters, when they're continuous numerical variables, we have other options. But at least for chapter four, those are our two options for the distribution question. Either make me a table or tell me it's binomial. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.